Hello guys and welcome. Today we want to talk about the custom radio button. So let's drag and drop the radio button onto the form. What is a radio button? It's a control that allows you to select only one of its kind in a group of these same controls. So what we mean is if we have one radio button in a group of five radio buttons, we will only be able to select just one radio button. Let's give an example. Let's duplicate this control and run our project. We want to see how this works. So let's duplicate and let's run the project. We have not made any customizations. We just want to see how it works. So we are able to select only one radio button in a group of radio buttons. Selecting just one control in a group of its kind, that is the purpose. And we cannot deselect a selected control. So it provides an option to select only one control at a time, with no possibility of deselecting it. In what circumstances in a real life situation can we use this? Well, let's suppose we have a scenario where we want the user to choose options. So let's label this to option one. Option number one. And let's change. Let's take another label and we'd like to attach it to the second radio option number two let's align this perfectly right this is much better and let's make this option number two let's have another group and let's make it option number three right let's change this to three so when we run our application, we allow the user to choose only one option. So I think for this to make more sense, let's try to provide some text. Choose only one option and let's allow the user to make a selection. So let's take out the keyboard, choose one option, only, right, choose one option only. And when we run the application now, it makes more sense. We have three options. And we want the user to choose only one. So they will choose between a, among the group of controls, sorry, among the group of controls, either option one, option two, or option three. So let's see out of the box how we can style these radio buttons. As we have said, they are custom radio buttons. So they are, we should be able to style them as, uh, as we will see. We'd like to see how we can style each individual when it's selected, when it's not selected, and so forth. So let's see. Let's select all the radio buttons and let's change the animation property to true. Let's change the border, the checkbox to true so that we can see how it's going to look like when checked. By default, can you see that I've selected three? radio buttons and I've ch changed the checkbox um, state to true but only one is selected even in design mode the controls will know that they are in a group of its kind thereby only one is selected and by default the first control to be added onto the form takes the first priority if you set this to false we can change again to true and we like to see how 
it will look like so let's change the background to the border to black and we're going to match that with the background and the inner color will leave it to white and let's revert to false let's change the unchecked state let's change the border color to silver and let's change the fill color again to silver in the inner color well let's just leave it like that we can change the border thickness to we can change the border thickness from two to one for example there we have it i think we can give a transparent color to the unchecked inner or few there we have it so when you run our application now we have a more modern better looking radio button i'm sure you agree right they can see the animation and you can see the changes but something interesting have you noticed that w when we click on the text nothing happens by default a radio button comes with text and we want to toggle which uh, or to select which option is currently selected when the user clicks the text we don't want the user to only click the control itself because that makes a bad experience we want them even to choose the the text well it's very easy very very easy we need to take the name of the radio button this is the guna custom button number one and when you come here this is number two and this is number three so let's handle the click event of the first label and then we set the checked state to true we save and let's go to the second um, to the second label so this is button number two let's change the checked state to true let's go to button number three again we do the same thing we change the checked state to true so if you have noticed here we have no switch, we have no if statement, but we're just assigning a label click to a button click, toggling the checked property or feature to true. That's all. There's no switch, there's no if, it's just as simple and as straightforward as like is that. Does this work? Why are we doing this way? Well, let's run the project and answer these questions. Let's see, first of all, if it works. There you have it. It works. Why does it work? Well, when you come here to the, to the background of the Form 1, please, I'd like you to notice what is happening here. As we have talked earlier on, the, the radio button allows only one button of its kind to be selected not two not three and the kind that is selected cannot be deselected if we select option number one and click again it remains selected radio buttons allow only one of its kind to be selected so we don't care the unchecked state of this first button second button third button because the controls themselves will handle that for us what we care is to check or set the checked status to true the controls themselves will revert back to false when another button apart from the first button or the second button or the currently selected button is set to true so if we set the first button to true and then we check this to true 
this button will set the rest of the buttons or the rest of its kind in this group to false. So we don't have to worry about handling the rest of the logic. We only need to say or provide the current state, checked state of the button on click. For example, the current state of button number three, option number three, is unchecked or false. And when we provide true, this button we handle the rest of the states on other buttons in the same container, the button of its group. So we don't have to worry about it. This is very simple and it's very, very straightforward. So I invite you, please, friends, to go ahead and try to use this radio button. Of course, we can change the styling here. Let's try to change and see what we have. The border style is solid. Let's change to dash. Let's change the the thickness to two. You can change it from silver to black. Now, this is what we get. And if we run the application, it will work just the same. So the styling allows you to customize the entire controls to suit your current theme, your look, and your feel. So when we are providing the text in form of the label, we only provide the current state to the control. We don't worry about the rest of the logic as the controls themselves we handle that for us. There we have it. Let's run one more time and see what we get. There you have it. Our modern looking and beautiful radio buttons. So please, I invite you guys to go ahead and Try to use this custom radio button if you need a custom design and you can provide unlimited customization to suit your need. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.